All right, everybody, here it is, Monday morning, the 15th, and it is just before 9 o'clock. I just got done doing an interview with Greg Bishop over at WMAY. We were on air. So, Todd Vandermeid for Freedom Steel, former NRA contract lobbyist, Illinois gun law guru. And you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to put up a bunch of breaking news, clickbait BS to try to trap you guys into clicking on this video. So here's what we were doing. Last Friday, the Court of, uh, last Friday, the court of Appeals issued a uh, continued stay on the Southern District semi-auto cases. They consolidated the Herrera and Naperville case in with this and issued an expedited briefing order uh, with oral arguments to take place on June 29th. We believe all of that is an attempt to head off something with the Supreme Court and the emergency appeal on the shadow docket that the uh, Beavis Naperville case had been appealed to. So with all that, the orders list came out at 8.30 this morning. And with it, we are not on it. Our stuff is not there. Uh, so if you look at the Naperville case, the docket number there is 22A948. And I do, I've refreshed this numerous times. We've gone through the actual published orders list and there's nothing. There's no update to the case site on the Supreme Court page. And on the orders list, we are not there. It's 22A. There is a 22948, but we are 22A 948 in that. And so nothing came out. What does that mean? Um, Justice Barrett could still do something on her own. The court may have done something on Thursday at their conference and then turned around and pulled it off last minute this morning in light of what the court saw on Friday with Naperville running up on uh, the state running up to the Supreme Court to inform them of the Seventh Circuit's actions. Um, they could have paused this. I have not researched the um, uh, second district case to see what the whole timing on that is. You know what? Let's stop right here for a second. All right, um, so here I'm referring to the docket in dealing with Antinuk, which was the second district challenge that got an emergency appeal to the Supreme Court. Interesting. So that was that was originally filed on December 21st, 2022. Seven days later, on December 27th. Uh, Justice Sotomayor requested a response. January 3rd, uh, the response was filed. On January 5th, there was a reply from Antioch. Anti and then on January 11th, it states here, application referred to the court. Hmm. And then on January 11th, it also says, Application to vacate stay presented to Justice Sotomayor and by her referred to the court is denied. Statement of Justice Alito with whom Th Justice Thomas joins respecting the denial of application to vacate stay. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a Supreme Court practitioner. Hell, I didn't even stay in a Holiday Inn Express last night. But looking at this this docket here, it may appear if you read the stuff on Naperville. So in Naperville, flipping over to this docket page, application on the 26th of April. Um, on May 1st, about the same kind of timeline from Justice Sotomayor, uh, requested a response. Then you had a couple of amici briefs show up, and then you had the response uh, from the city of Naperville and the response from the state. 
neighbor or the National Association for Gun Rights issued a reply to theirs. Let's see. And then on May 12th, the state sent them the letter on, you know, what the Court of Appeals had done. So flipping back over here. So January 5th to January 11th, uh, from the reply from Antonyuk in the Second Circuit case, six days. In the Naperville case, the reply was the 10th, and here we are the 15th, five days. Oh, uh, we shall see. So we shall see if and when. So here's what we know. The full court has not rejected it so far. Justice Barrett hasn't done anything on her own so far. They have not said no. And uh, for one of the guys uh, I follow on YouTube, C.W. Lemoyne, uh, mover, uh, make them tell you no. And so could we see something today by Justice Barrett? Maybe. Um if it's referred to the full court, they have another conference on Thursday uh, with another set of orders coming out next Monday. Uh, but they could do something at almost any time if they chose to do so. This one is taking a little longer than what the Second Circuit one did. So it's uh, don't have a crystal ball. This is me peering down into the bottom of my whiskey glass and trying to make sense of things, uh, being a non-lawyer. Um, but it is, it is interesting that we weren't on the orders list. I thought that in light of the state's filing on Friday, that they would have done something. Um, but that was but after their conference. Uh, I don't know how many more bites at the apple we're going to get, but it certainly is. Um, it's going to be interesting. And... Don't know. Uh, it's, it's got me scratching my beard and scratching my head on this stuff just a little bit to see where uh, they're going to take this. Maybe they are getting fed up. Maybe they are preparing something else. Maybe Justice Barrett uh, is after hours going over to Justice Thomas's chambers and sitting down with a uh, a nice bourbon and you know, trying to figure out where they go. I don't know. Maybe they're talking to Justice Kavanaugh and the chief about, hey, you know, when is that? you need five to issue. If, if she doesn't do it herself, then you need a majority of the court, is my understanding. It only takes four to take the case. But I don't know. Anything else is pure swag. And it's not even scientific at this point. It is just a wild-ass guess based on what they may or may not do. Uh, so, you know, anybody's guess. Uh, long and short of it is, nothing came out at 8.30 on the orders list. We are simply sitting and waiting as if tomorrow is Christmas Day, today is Christmas Eve, and we're just perpetually waiting for Christmas Day to come like Groundhog Day. So, that's what there is for the long and the short. We'll have some other information out, some other topics a little later today. But in the short term, 9 o'clock, nothing came out this morning. We are still in a holding pattern. So we shall see. With always, guys, uh, hey, thank you. We're knocking on 8,500 subscribers, getting ever closer to that 10,000 mark. We really appreciate and support all your help and, and your copy paste share these links around let people know uh, you, we're the only guys talking about atkinson we're the only guys that are trying to coordinate and figure out how that and bianchi roll into this whole thing and we we've, we've got some other new content coming up so with that as always thank you very much and frag out <laughs>